if you turn on the TV, all anyone's talking about is the polar vortex. Yes. Yeah. That is the, this guy's like, yeah! <laughs> polar vortex, getting it done! <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, that's the big story. Midwest, polar vortex. But here in Los Angeles, we have something just as bad. Moderate rain. <laughs> it's just, it's just really bad. Really. Th thoughts and prayers to LA. Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> It does feel that way yeah. in LA. You grew up in the Midwest. I grew up on the East Coast. It rained all the time. Absolutely. Here in LA, when it rains, all the traffic lights stop working. <laughs> People get out of their cars and just start yeah, yeah. running around like idiots. Right, right. It's madness. Yes. It's crazy. For like for like about uh, half an hour, Twitter was nothing but thunder. <laughs> it was thunder. <laughs> The gods are angry. 70% of the country right now is uh, still covered by very, very cold temperatures. Yeah. Yeah, miserable to go outside for a lot of people in America, which has inspired the Southern California Tourist Bureau to put out this ad. Polar vortex or solar vortex? <laughs> it's your choice, America. Southern California. Visit us anytime. Just don't move here. Traffic is bad enough without your car. Also, we get wildfires and mudslides, and droughts and earthquakes, and block after block of homeless tents, and an average class size of 37 students. Full disclosure, if you have a cat, you're gonna lose it. The coyotes come all the way downtown. We're also the home of savage murderers and fat aging porn stars who linger at ATM machines. Southern California. Three days, tops. I love that motto. Three days, tops. Three days, tops. You'll have a good yep. time and then get out of here. Super Bowl, anyone excited about the Super Bowl this weekend? I brought it up to the crowd last night. They didn't care. LA is in the Super Bowl. Right. You, okay. It, well, it took a day to get the news out. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. town does not know it has a Super team in the Super Bowl. I know. It's well, crazy. They, they, we got the real housewives, so the excitement's always yeah, exactly, there. Yeah, exactly, so, yeah. You know. Well, uh, you know, a lot of people watch for the halftime show, right? Let's be honest. This is the weird story this year. They couldn't get anyone to play the Super Bowl halftime show this year. They really did have a very hard time. And then finally they got Maroon 5. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, apparently uh, Maroon 1 through 4 said no. <laughs> now you could wonder, was that joke worth it or not? <laughs> I think. Thank you. Thank you, very much. thank you. 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 Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you. That joke got you elected to city council. <laughs> it did. <laughs> uh, you know that Super Bowl ads cost the most ever this year? Really? Did you know that? Yeah. Super Bowl ads cost five million dollars, or get this, one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars per second for a Super Bowl ad. To put that in perspective, a 30-second commercial on this show, my show, The Conan Show, costs $200 plus, I give you a ride to the airport. <laughs> That's the difference. That explains our sponsor. Doris is going to see her grandkid. <laughs> and needs a ride, no. yeah. That's right, over $175,000 a second. Wow. That's what it really costs. So get this, this kind of makes sense. In an effort to save money, a bunch of companies are airing commercials that are only a couple of seconds long. Uh, for example, here's one. Have arthritis? Try Zelljans, maybe diarrhea. Ah, 
I know a lot of people are doing that. Uh, in fact, here's another one. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Maybe diarrhea. <laughs> Yeah. Here's another one. Who has diarrhea? <laughs> and the best for last, finally. Diarrhea. <laughs>